The Rotterdam study was designed to address health and disease in elderly people. Given that human population is aging, especially in West Europe, this is an important population to study. The Rotterdam study is a reasonable representative of the Dutch population who have undergone high quality measurements and are followed for a long time, up to 25 years. The study targets the risk factors and causes of a wide range of common diseases such as cardiovascular and cancer. We found that novel combined metabolic indices such as visceral adiposity index, the lipid accumulation product and the product of triglycerides and fasting glucose were stronger risk markers for incident type 2 diabetes than the traditional anthropometric and lipid measures among women. These novel metabolic indices were also comparable to DEXA measured body fat compositions in women. Neither combined metabolic indices nor DEXA measures on body fat were superior to traditional anthropometric and lipid measures in association with type 2 diabetes among men. To our knowledge, this is the first prospective population-based cohort study to investigate the associations between novel metabolic indices as well as DEXA among women and men. We found that DEA serum level was inversely associated with the risk of type 2 diabetes independent of established diabetes risk factors including body mass index, fasting glucose, insulin and CRP. Our findings on a protective role of DEA against type 2 diabetes provide epidemiological evidence in agreement in to previous claims on positive effects of DEA in type 2 diabetes. This prospective data suggests that DEA may play a role in the pathophysiology of type 2 diabetes, which may have important implications for preventive interventions. However, the effect of DEA on the severity of type 2 diabetes falls beyond the etiological aim of our study. Future research is needed for it. <laughs>